everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Today I'm really excited because I have a new product to show you guys that I've been waiting for for months and it is the Rowan Beauty 1111 palette. Um, I'm super excited. So I first saw this palette, like I said, a few months ago when Nikki, the creator of Rowan Beauty, had posted it on her Instagram. Actually, I think it was maybe even like midsummer. Um, I remember she was doing like a photo shoot with Rosie Huntington Whiteley and she was using this palette on her because one of the shades is called Rosie and Rosie is one of her like main clients. And so um, when I saw this, I was so excited and I couldn't wait for it to come out because it has like some rosy gold tones in it. It's like in between cool and warm toned. So um, yeah, I was super stoked about this and then we weren't hearing really much information about it. And then just um, last month they launched it so when I saw it come out I was super excited but I had it in my Sephora cart and I was just waiting until some other things were gonna be in stock because I didn't want to do like multiple orders so I was just waiting until other things came in stock which is why I only just now bought it um, but I did want it when it first came out but anyways this is actually Nikki's last palette with Rowan Beauty because I saw on her Instagram page that she's no longer with the company so this is the last thing that she created with them but as you know I love Rowan's products I have the two disco shadows the disco and summer disco and I love these I use them all the time pretty much every single day and they're just really cool like they're a really cool formula because they feel like a cream but they apply like a powder and uh, they stay on like a powder so it was really cool but anyways let's go ahead and talk about this palette it's actually the first Rowan palette I've purchased I did get the 52 degrees palette which I will make another video on separately but I really wanted to get this one out there because I I was most excited for this palette. Like I said, it's called the 1111 eyeshadow palette and it is their Lid Illum formulas, which are slightly different than the Disco shadows. Um, I mean, it's the same like cream powder type of thing, but the like sparkle pigments that are in the Lid Illums are different than the Disco's. Um, the Disco's are like really like sparkly and really like large chunks of sparkle, whereas the Lid Illums are more um, like different sizes of sparkle so it looks different every time you use it. So I'm going to show you the palette now. It comes in like this really nice little um, like velour bag. Just like the Disco Shadows, they also come in that. Mostly so you can keep it protected and nice. This is what the outside of the packaging looks like. It's pretty nice. This is plastic. It looks like metal, but it is plastic. So once you're done, you can recycle it. It looks like it's heavier than it is, but it's super lightweight. So it comes with a mirror, which is nice. So if you're taking this on the go, you can use it. Um, but look at how amazing these eyeshadows are. They are so beautiful and I can't wait to tell you more about them. So we have Rosie, which is for Rosie Huntington Whiteley. And this color is a petal pink, sort of rose gold. And then this one here is called Chow, which is a deep fuchsia. Then we have this shade over here, which is called Hashtag, and it is a taupe green. And then we have this shade right here, which is called Situation, and it is a soft pink. But for some reason, Situation always makes me think of the Jersey Shore um, with the Situation. <laughs> Anyways, so that is the palette. Um, it is so pretty. And I wanted to tell you that this palette is $42. Um, I did purchase it on Sephora, but I use a gift card for it, um, but you can get it from Sephora, you can get it from Rome Beauty's website, and it also is vegan, it's cruelty free, it's gluten free, and like I said, it's recyclable. Rome Beauty is considered a clean beauty brand, so that is nice also. And this is like a nice clean brand that I really enjoy using. So as you can see, I have already um, tested this out because I wanted to get some outside swatches of this for you, so I'm gonna go ahead and insert those in now.
first use these, you have to really press hard and sort of dig into this with your finger, like really press hard on it to get that pigment out. Um, you can use an eyeshadow brush when you use these to like blend them out or just use your finger, which is how I like to use the disco shadows. And I'm going to assume is how I like to use this. But I do want to show these to you with swatches in like natural window lighting, which is what I use. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on and I'll show them to you. So first we will swatch this one, which is Situation. And this shade is um, a lot more crumbly than the other ones, but it's really pretty. And um, let's go ahead and put it here. It's really pretty. I love this one. I feel like this is like a good everyday eyeshadow color because it sort of has like that pinky purpley mist to it. I don't know. It's just really pretty. And then next we'll try out this shade here, which is called Hashtag. These actually feel a lot creamier than the Disco shadows. Um, but anyways, let's put that baby on. Super pretty. If you're into sparkle and shiny eyeshadows, you will love these. Okay, next is Rosy, this color right here. Which is more of like a pinky peachy color. It's really pretty though. It would look really good with green and blue eyes. And lastly, we have this shade here, which is Chow. And look at how pretty that color is. Oh, so pretty. So there's all the shades right there for you. They're all super pretty. And I'm going to do um, eye swatches as well so that you can see what they look like on the eye. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me wipe this off my arm though really quick. That way I don't get it all over the place. So I'm going to start off with Rosy here. And um, I'm just going to take it on my finger. And apply it to my eye. Ooh. That's super pretty. That actually reminds me a lot of Summer Disco, but it's really pretty on the eye area. This would be like perfect for spring and summer, just for like a little pop of color. I really like that. Okay, next we'll go in with Chow, which is up here, this like purpley one. I'm excited to test this one out. I feel like it'll be really pretty. Oh, wow. This one is really nice. Okay, that color right there is Chow. It's super pretty. It's um, definitely more purpley toned than rosy, but um, you can still see like that rosy gold undertone, but it's super pretty. And the cool thing about these little looms is that you can build up the pigment and by like pressing on, or um, you can kind of blend it out with your finger or a brush. But if you like press it on, it definitely leads to more sparkle, but that's really pretty. I like that. Okay, let me go ahead and wipe this off and I will test out the other two. So next I'm going to test out this shade here, which is hashtag, and that's like the taupey green color. And this one looks like it's going to be really pretty. Oh, wow. All right, well, this color is awesome. This color would make like an amazing smoky eye with. Just like a super quick and easy smoky eye. Wow, that's super pretty. Or this would look really cool underneath the eye too. If you did like a really like matte smoky look and then did it right underneath the eyelid, that would look really awesome. That color is so pretty. Look at that sparkle. Oh yeah. And then lastly, we have Situation over here which is the one I'm most excited about, even though it's more crumbly. I am really excited for this one. Okay, let's do it. Oh, look at that, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay, that's like my new favorite eyeshadow. It's so pretty, look at that, look at that shine. You could definitely also just put these on really lightly 
instead of going like full sparkle with them, you could definitely put them on really lightly, um, which actually I might just show you. That way you know what it looks like. That way you're not like, if you're not a full on sparkle fan like this, like look at how pretty that is. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Anyways, if you're not like a full on sparkle fan, you could definitely do it a lot lighter. So let me go ahead and show you what that would look like um, just with like a couple of these. That way, you know, if you're new to sparkle, then you would be able to test this out yourself. But oh man, that's so pretty. I don't want to take it off. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna take the same shade situation and I'm just going to very lightly apply it on. That way you can see what it looks like just being lightly applied instead of like going full force. Cause I think that there's some people out there that don't like sparkle that much. Okay, so there is situation applied really lightly. And again, that was this shade down here. Um, but just so that you guys can see what it looks like, this is full on and this is just like really lightly patting it on. I think both look really nice um, either way. So this could be like an everyday type of thing and then this could be like a special occasion type of thing or everyday type of thing. <laughs> so yeah, I am so excited that I got this palette. I cannot say enough good things about it already. Rowan has been creating some really awesome things. They do have two other palettes out, um, the 52 Degrees palette, which is like the cool toned one, which I did pick up with my Sephora gift card. So I will be doing a separate video on that palette. Um, but then they also have the 75 Degrees Warm Toned palette, which I did not get only because I have a lot of warm toned eye colors anyways and I feel like everything's warm toned these days so I just didn't feel like I needed that one. I mean it's gorgeous, don't get me wrong. Like if I bought it I would use it. I'm not going to not use it you know but um, yeah I just really wanted to get the cool toned palettes and see how those worked and um, test those out. So I'm really glad that I got this 1111 palette. They say it's like the magical palette and I would agree it's very magical, it's very beautiful and I'm I'm so excited to use this because to me I feel like adding a little sparkle on the eyes or just having some sparkle in your day definitely makes the day a little bit brighter so um yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed this little swatch and review video um my review is this thing's awesome and if you're into sparkle eyeshadows that you definitely need to try out Rowan Beauty if you haven't already um their disco shadows are amazing the eyeshadow palette is so great I can't wait to dive in and use this more often so yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed this if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell so you never miss a video and if you want to come find me on Instagram Room. I'm at K Lovin and yeah I hope that you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! Yeah.